Salvador has just always been very active in the community um, since, since he was very young and is always trying to find ways to make the world a better place, a more compassionate place, getting involved with um, you know, racial justice and equality. In 2020, when uh, we were doing Black Lives Matter protests, I saw Salvi there all the time. Anytime there was a chance to speak, um, that we would let members of the community speak. He always jumped at the chance. We also organized Mason City Pride. He's always there uh, giving a speech, telling jokes, fun facts. He's a very active, especially for his age. I've always kind of thought of Salvi as an old soul, but even as a younger kid, like eight, nine, 10, 11, I've always felt that he had a heart for people who are marginalized by society. The Native American tribe that our, our school district was using as a mascot had been asking um, for our school district to change the mascot and had been asking for many years. And so Salvador um, was taking it upon himself to learn about the issue and gave hours and hours worth of interviews to local media and speaking to his classmates and speaking to adults about the issue. Eventually we had like a little meeting over it. I had to give a speech and whatnot. And that's pretty crazy. I was 11 at the time. And one of the things that happens when, um, especially when Native American and Indigenous students speak up about trying to change a Native American mascot is that often the, um, the retaliation is so difficult that they have to leave town. We did have a counter protest group that had formed that was, um, had quickly gained the attention of uh, the white nationalist um, organizations in our area. And a lot of community members who might be a little older, a little stuck in their ways, were not very happy about that change. All I know is that people weren't too happy about the mascot change. He understood the reason why we needed to change our mascot for this school district. And he was willing to do it even in the face of people that gave negative feedback to him personally. And since that time, he has been an advocate on, on other projects as well. This past year especially, he's tried to be a real advocate for um, finding ways to help the transgender student community here to feel safe. He's growing as a person, and I'm just so, so proud that he's able to get this award. He's a courageous young person and takes chances in, in being involved in a lot of different things. He's worked so hard to make the world a better place for other people and isn't just looking out for himself but is really trying to make everyone feel included and welcome and like they belong here. I think a lot of adults do not show up for their community the same way that Salvi does. Well he's always really nice to everybody. Just be nice to each other. Be, be nice to each other. <laughs>